What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create a confirmation email in ClickFunnels for visitors that sign up to your opt-in page. Now, the process isn't ideal if you're using ClickFunnels Actionetics. Um, you will see why, but I will show you how to do it nevertheless. So here I have a basic opt-in page, a basic thank you page. You may have other pages like a sales page, upsell, downsell, etc., etc. That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters are these two points. Um, if you have more, that's great. These are the only ones we should be looking at. So the idea here is what we're going to do is rather than adding people to a list right away, we want to send them first a confirmation email. So what we're going to do is in our automation tab, we're going to create an email rather than adding them to the list. If you have Actionetics, we're going to create an email asking them to confirm their subscription by landing on a specific ClickFunnels page, which we're going to create here. So the first thing we have to do is create that confirmation page in ClickFunnels. So I'm going to add a new step. And if this doesn't make sense right away, don't worry about it. It will make sense as, as, as we go along. So I will write here, you know, confirmation um, page. Uh, let's leave the path as is, and I'm going to create funnel step. So here I see the different options we have for our funnel. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'll just select, you know, I'll just select this one um, to save time because it doesn't uh, really matter. But obviously, you know, in your case, select one that fits your style. And what we're going to do, the basic idea that you have to do here, right? Obviously, you know, ignore the picture. We don't need it. Ignore the phone number is just say, hey, please confirm your subscription subscription down below okay and what they're going to have to do is enter their email in once again so I'm just gonna make this bigger um, that's the basic idea okay we can just delete everything else um, I just wanted to show you what the theme is okay so this is the only thing you really need something like that and uh, you know obviously change the button and um, but the sucky thing in click funnels is that they do have to enter their email once again so unlike get response for instance where um, they're added uh, to the list and then all they have to do is click a confirm button in the email itself in click funnels you have to first take them to a page and then on that page they have to enter their email again so it's a slightly more more tedious process if you're using click funnels um, but it is what it is. So if that's the way you want to go about it, this is how you would do it. So you have to do this here. You have to ask them to enter their email and you can submit the page. All the other details um, will be on the first page if you have. So if on your first page, you know, you have phone number, address, um, name, first name, last name, etc., etc., all that information will still be stored. But in order for them to be added to the list, you do need to have this email here okay um, if you are using or if you were using a third-party autoresponder make sure that is off because we don't want to receive those uh, third-party autoresponder messages same thing on your opt-in page make sure you remove those and that is the basic idea now if you want to you can also add a confirmation thank you page saying hey thank you which you probably should do um, so I'll say just a confirmation thank you page so users aren't kind of lost and saying okay well like what happened now that I submitted this so I'm going to submit that, going to pause it while it loads. And here we are on our thank you pages. So again, it doesn't matter. I'll just select this, you know, just to let people know that, hey, thank you. You've successfully confirmed your subscription. So normally what you would have done if you were using ClickFunnels Actionetics is you added people to the list right away on the opt-in page by going to automation and you added an action. And in that action, you added them to a list. I don't have a list. I don't use Actionetics. But if you did have a list using Actionetics um, for autoresponders, you would see it here and you would add them. In this case, you don't want to add them to the list right away because you need them to confirm their subscription first. So what we're going to do is send them an email asking them first to go to this page. In the email, we have to ask them, hey, please confirm your subscription by going to this page. So we have to take this URL here and compose the email. Sorry about that. So I'm going to copy it, go into automation, and I'm going to add a new email. Now, you know, just make stuff up. Um, urgent 
the confirmation required, something like that. That doesn't matter. Condition everyone and say, you know, hey there, just some basic stuff. Please confirm your subscription by clicking the link below. Thanks and see you soon. Okay, just a basic thing, just so you get the idea. I'm going to create the email. And now this email is required. We're going to test this in a bit. Okay, let's just finish what I wanted to let you know. Uh, so confirmation required. So as soon as people sign up and enter their email um, and whatever other details you have, they will be uh, sent that email saying, hey, please confirm your subscription by going to this URL. Now on this site, what we have to do on this page is we have to create a new action, adding them to our Actionetics um, autoresponder, okay? So I'm going to click on add new action. I'm going to give it a name. No, it doesn't matter. Condition, obviously, everyone that signs up. Uh, add to list. And I don't have a list here, but if you would have the autoresponder list that you set up with Actionetics, again, you would just select that from the drop down, okay? You would select it right there, and then you create funnel action. And that is it, that is the process, okay? So let's just test it out. I'm going to click on this page. I'm going to enter my email. I could enter my business email or the email I use with you guys. So that one I've used several times just to be safe. Let me just use this one um, at Gmail. And I'm going to click next. I should be taken to this uh, thank you page, right? Please confirm. So on the thank you page, maybe you want to write something like, hey, thank you, um, please confirm um, your subscription in the email, stuff like that. So I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm going to check my email and show you what that email will now look like now that we've set it up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually received the email immediately, which is pretty good sometimes with uh, ClickFunnels, it does take a while. And here it says, you know, hey there, please confirm your subscription. And again, like I said, obviously you can make it prettier. You know, you can make the whole link show or the whole link not show by hyperlinking, stuff like that. I just want to show you how to get it done. The skeleton, you can make it prettier later. So it says, hey, please confirm your subscription. Notice they're not added to the list yet. I am not added to the list unless I confirm. So once I click here, I'll be taken to this page and it says, hey, please confirm your subscription. So I'm going to enter my email once again, and when I click on start my free trial, now I'll be added to the list. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get emails because I don't have an autoresponder, but your audience would because you already set up the autoresponder, and on that confirmation page, you've added them to the list, which, again, I don't have here because I don't have Actionetics. I use GetResponse. Um, so that is it. That is how you create this confirmation email in ClickFunnels. It does come with its downsides, but it is conveniently placed and done everything within cl the ClickFunnels platform. So if you do decide to do that, this would be the only way you can do it. Users do have to enter their email once again. I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I try to be as helpful and responsive as I can. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. It does help me uh, know kind of what direction I'm going. And if you guys are finding this useful, it helps me create more useful videos like this. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see you in the next video.